Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play the Final Fantasy Legend. So, it's very likely that the only thing we're going to be able to do in this video is go up the tower, because we've got more floors than usual to go through. And the enemies are just as determined as ever to, well, be annoying. But, with the spear in hand... Nope. Even though you may have seen what I did off screen. Just to give you a hint, it's right here. Yes, I did manage to uh, grind up enough sh box uh, boxing, shopping, and uh, shopping and all to actually get through. Nothing in there. And now these guys are wrestlers. Unfortunately, poor mage here has no attacks. What are her abilities at this point? Armor. I should have stopped at the end. Oh, well, it will be fine. Armor doesn't help much anyway, but vulnerability to fire is kind of annoying. And now we've got an anaconda. Dies pretty much the same way as everything else. Ah, good. Hit point refill. Even if it doesn't refill the, uh, abilities. And again, you may see the meat drop. The meat is not getting eaten, eaten by the monster, and that's its one specific boss. I forgot these look like that. Looks like it just has a big pair of scissors for a face. One of these things has the ultimate weapon inside of it. Let's see... I think I want to go south first. Notably because we are in a side world here. There are still enemies in these side worlds. Dragons, got it. about this place is we gotta figure out how to make it around. Thankfully, Lady Mage picked up a uh, group attack there. Sadly, it didn't actually kill anything, it just hurt them a lot. Hmm. 
quick as finding out where you're allowed to actually walk around here. Because there are enemies around here. Good. I'm pretty sure confusion doesn't stick around. Yeah, it doesn't. It does it does do very annoying things. See, there are supposed to be treasures in this place. I don't remember where though. There are enough enemies, though. I mean, the, the items in here are not spectacular or anything like that. But they are, I mean, at least one of them's worth getting. Even if we do have to go through a bunch of combat to get to it. There's one. There's the elixir. Which isn't bad, don't get me wrong. Just not the main thing I'm, just not the main thing I'm looking for. Some damage, just not the most. There's another chest. There's one more in here, too, aside from that one. Although, if I find this one, if this is the one I'm thinking of. Enemies are definitely starting to become more of a nuisance. Would you please attack the thing? Thank you. For some reason it didn't want to switch over to the other guy, to the other uh, enemy. still alive. Why are these still alive? These should be dead now. Thank you. Just a regular potion. And we found the vampiric sword. Okay, we got the treasures on here. We can we can move on. I am very happy we get to do this. Well, uh, let's see. Is there anything else? I don't think there's anything else here I care about. So we will just go to the exit. And now we get the saw. The saw is an amazing freaking weapon. About half the time. I'm not going to I'm not going to use that one just yet, as a matter of fact. 
Just because I know we get more, um... We get more, uh, items than we can actually carry out of here. I'm just gonna use the potions real quick. This, uh, section of the ta- Ow! Jeez, that hurts. kind of a uh, kind of debilitating as far as how many freaking hit points it drains away okay so up here no rain in a long time huh they want water. And a little patch there. Okay, so they want water. That's fair enough. I would want water too if I hadn't had any for a while. But if, how long has it been though? There's this part of me that kind of wonders just how long it's been since I've actually had rain. We get an army helmet. So, let's, um... I didn't actually pay attention to the stats, so defense 40, defense 31, that's a pretty good boost. Pretty good boost. Okay. So now there is a thing we can do here. Actually, there are a couple of them. First of well, we were trying to approach that. I mean, we're gonna be. That's not gonna be a problem in a second, but you know. Because that's a refill. So now we are all at max. Well, not quite. There we go. Now everybody's at full. Guess it, I forgot those only heal a little bit at a time. Go figure. So anyway. So, we have a flooded world here. Water's rising in the lake, huh? They can't swim. Somebody didn't do something. There was a hole... ...through garbage in the lake, and... 
Are you saying you threw garbage in the lake and clogged it? So, by, um... By opening up the clogged drain, so to speak... We managed to get the octopus people here the rain they needed. We were more powerful than the creator, sorry. That that's just how this works. I'm pretty sure anyway. have too many hit points. They do so much damage. up to the floor we were on. Might as well refill our hit points. Actually make sure they're refilled. I think if we go in here, we've got prizes. Ashura is the Archfiend, huh? Ashura sets forth four fiends. Say Ryu the Blue Dragon. Are you? Because I'm pretty sure we beat someone named Say Ryu. That's Byakkyo. Ah, they're playing a game. And we got a Psychic Sword. Another Elixir. We got an X Potion. Now we are overloaded. So, out of everything I see here, oh, the elixir will sell for a good bit. The X potion, however. Don't think we need it. I get a revive. Revive is a good prize. A second level dragon, huh? Right now, I think I'll just use that Psychic Knife until it's gone, and then equip that Psychic Sword. So there we go, we have fixed problems. Does that make us heroic? Probably not, but it does make us having fixed problems. Back to six. I was almost down to no gold, and just walking through this tower like this put me back at 65,000. So let's see that. You have power. I don't know what power does. Oh, strength, okay. Nom nom, ant lion. Okay, so this is not the last floor, believe it or not. There's not a lot to do on this floor. If you really need it, there is a hit point refill if you want to go all the way around and if you want to turn this into a grind spot.
but it's surrounded. See, it's surrounded by spikes over there. That is a heal spot. You can go there, but it's got spikes, and those spikes will kind of hurt you. Like they did in one area that I didn't notice, because I had, frankly, too many hit points for it. So now... You are waiting here. Nothing against, works against Suzaku, you can only run. Fair enough. And down there... Let's actually take the trip down there. A bunch of spikes. And we walked on them. It seems to have hurt a couple of us for a point. It's actually hurt all four of us for a point, but... The thing is, Surat and Lantern there each have 1,000 hit points, not 9.99. If I were to work on the second spot, now you can see it. Now it kind of goes down. But that door over there, once again, is sealed by yet another orb. So let us do the thing we do. And we will have to go into World 4 and figure out exactly what we need to do about getting ourselves an orb. Or sphere, I guess. Not just orb, but sphere. And they really want us to do more fighting. So, the D-Beam. Probably Death Beam. Okay, we are almost to the end. Now, welcome to World 4. That kind of looks like the moon with a checker pattern around it. Yep, no damage. And we get to run away! Expect a lot of this. A whole lot of this. Although it does I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a radio transmitter tower or if it's supposed to be the uh, Eiffel Tower. I'm leaning more towards a radio transmitter. You'll, you'll see why in a bit. But anyway, that'll do it for today. When we come back, we actually start to explore World 4 and mis mysteries of getting attacked by things that really do a lot of damage to you. But until then, take care folks. See you later. <laughs>